Shalom, 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 and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Today, Salabini and her lamb shop are going to be co-hosting today, and her dress matches her lamb shop. Um, if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and share down below, and I apologize, I didn't get to do videos yesterday, so I'm going to try to do all four today, um, if possible. Okay, and there's a donation link to my ministry down in the description box. Um, I know everyone's falling on hard times right now, so if you can't, then that's okay. But there's, um, with the same link, you can order seat seats. Um, I will also make custom seat seats. Um, if you like them longer, I can make them longer. If you like them shorter, I can make them shorter. Um, if you like them braided, I can braid them, or I can do them just um, the uh, traditional, um, just uh, not so fancy on the bottom with just the fringes. Okay, Bella, it's time to do the video. Okay, so we're going to start today with the return of Yahusha. Um, I know we already did this. Okay, we're on this one. Um, the Covenant and Renewed Covenant. When we understand that the covenant is one of marriage, things will begin to make better sense to us. Israel and Yehuda are called houses and became two sticks. Ezekiel 36 and 37, but today we see them being joined together again as they were prophesied to become. Yahuwah found fault with the first covenant because his wife, Yisrael, or Yashua, yeah, Yisrael, was disobedient to him. But he has provided for a better covenant with the same wife, Yisrael having the same instructions, but implemented with everlasting redemption and effectiveness. For finding fault with them, he says, See the days are coming, says Yahuwah, when I shall conclude, or close a deed, with the house of Israel and with the house of Yehuda, a renewed covenant. Not according to, in, in the same way, the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Mitzrayim, or Egypt, because they did not continue in my covenant, and I disregarded them, says Yahuwah. Because this is the covenant that I shall make with the house of Israel after those days, and says Yahuwah, giving my laws in their mind, and I shall write on them on their heart. I shall write them on their hearts, and I shall be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. And they shall by no means teach one his neighbor and each one his brother, saying, No, Yahuwah, because they all shall know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them. Because I shall forgive their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawlessnesses, I shall no longer remember. Hebrews 8, 8 through 12, citing Yirmiyahu 31 also. Yahusha's spirit writes his Torah on our hearts so that we receive a love for his Torah, the truth. Papal authority, the two keys and two fingers shown here depict um, universal sovereignty over the earth, tempor temporally and morally. The coat of arms above is worn by the papal guard. In 1580, the office of the Pope was proclaimed to be L-O-R-D-G-O-D. -O -D. So those are the top two pictures I read to you right there. One second, guys. Reading of Yahuwah. Okay. I apologize. I had to pause for a second. I was just explaining that Bella lays in my lap a lot, and you guys can't really see her, so um, she gets very comforted and falls asleep when she hears the word of Yahuwah. Okay. And then I'm going to read the next pictures here. Allah is great. That was a, um, I think it was a, it looks like the car, like the type of cartoons they put in the newspaper. Blam! And your point is?
the Torah. Let's see. The Torah is still on the minds of the Yahudim in Israel today. At the right is an enlargement of one of their postage stamps showing Aharon wearing the breastplate and headband standing in front of the Ark of the Testimony, which we will re be reading about next. Israel, all 12 tribes, are the priests to the nation. Even under the Levitical order, they offered sacrifices for the sins of the nation. They are truly hated without a cause. They certainly are not guilty of doing as their wild donkey half-brothers are pictured above. And now we, we will be reading the covenant, the renewed covenant. Okay, can you please just lay in mommy's arm like this? Yeah. Love you. Okay. The covenant, the Ten Commandments. One, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. Have no other before my face. No for foreign names, rituals, customs of pagans. Oh. Okay. Two, do not bow to images. Three, do not cast the name of Yahuwah your Elohim to ruin. No misuse or non-use, bringing him shame. Four, remember the Shabbat, keep it Kodesh or set apart. And in parentheses it says, sign of the everlasting covenant of love, Exodus 31.13, and Ezekiel 20, 16 through 20. Changed Daniel 7, 25 by Constantine to his day of the sun. In 321 CE for Christians, changed by Muhammad to sixth day, circa 622 CE, Shabbat acknowledges Yahuwah as creator, Hebrews 4. In the, in the world before sin came and remains for all eternity. Isaiah 66, 23, Psalm 119, 152, and Exodus 31, 13. Five, you respect your father and your mother. Six, you do not murder. Seven, you do not break wedlock. Eight, you do not steal. Nine, you do not bear false witness against your neighbor. 10. You do not covet your neighbor's house, wife, servant, ox, ass, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. These are to be diligently taught to your children and posted on the doorposts of your home. Deuteronomy 6. These words are called the covenant of love. The above covenant was carried by the 12 tribes of Israel in a special box we now call the Ark of the Covenant. Which I also, what I found interesting in a video I watched recently is that in our brains, um, like protecting, like the, I think it's protecting the pineal gland area of our brain and kind of the center of our brain, it looks like the Ark of the Covenant. Oh no. Okay. Sorry, somehow my mouth slipped. It, it's strange. The new mouth kind of moves on its own. Okay. Let's see. Um... Oh, you Bella's got hair on her dress. Okay. Sorry, Beanie. Okay. This box was was special because of its contents. The ideas we read above in we read above in English. In Hebrew, this box was called Aaron Brit Yahuwah. It was also referred to as the Ark Aaron of the Testimony Ezu. Aaron Edu. This testimony or covenant was also a witness. There are two of them. <clears throat> the renewed covenant. One was an exact copy of another, and they were written on both sides by the finger of Yahuwah. The word Edu stems from Eda, witness or testimony. The, this covenant is eternal and is the wedding covenant. Each partner had their copy in stone, one for the wife, one for the husband. Israel is his wife or bride. Idut in Hebrew also means warning or admonition. 
his bride will live according to this covenant. Written in stone, this had little effect upon the heart of sinful mankind. But the promised new or renewed covenant mentioned at Yirmiyahu 31 and quoted at Hebrews 8 and 10 became reality for the first time as we see recorded at Acts 2. Yahushua circumcised our hearts with the covenant, so we receive a love for it, the truth or word of Yahuwah. This occurs when he gives us of his spirit or his ruach. We become sealed with his name as our husband and deliverer at our immersion, which is our outward, our outward sign of this circumcision when we marry, accept his covenant of love, and he takes our uncleanness away. This covenant produces spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5:22 and 23. And on the bottom it says, make copies of page, cut out, and post on doorposts, and share it. Um, I would never cut out any pages of Brother Lou's books because he is an amazing, he's amazing when it comes to all the information and knowledge he knows. And I would never um, decimate any of these books because they all have, some, they all have you who is word within them. Just like I would never decimate the BYND. <laughs> um, okay, so now is my favorite part. It is time to praise Yahua. But first, um, next time we will be reading, The Covenant Makes Someone Very Mad. Satan is Insanely Jealous. And that one is probably going to be titled Satan is Insanely Jealous. And then I'll put in parentheses uh, The Return of Yahushua. And then after that, the next video will be the fall of mankind, the redemption of mankind. Okay, so, let me see. I think I sang Count It All Joy in one of the last videos. I sing that one way, way too often, so I need to try to Excuse me. Oh, wow. Sorry. Okay. I need to try to switch it up a little bit. Um, I don't think I've sang this one on here. I'm not sure. All right. Be unlike the nation. Be not deceived, O oh my people. Do not follow after false idols of Mitzrayim. Do not follow after Asherah. Do not fall for the wicked schemes of the devil. Do not take anything he offers you. Be wise as a serpent and pure as a dove. For the lion devours, he seeks to destroy. The battleground is spiritual. Her name is Babylon. They call her the harlot. Do not be deceived. Do not drink of her cup of iniquity and abomination. Come out of her, my people. Come out from among her. Separate yourselves from the nation. You are pure and they are wicked. I give you feet to stop the serpent's neck. Oh, Yasharah. 
Yahushua said, stay faithful and true, and I will always, and I will always love you. We love you with an everlasting love, as our Abba Yahuwah and the Shamaim loves each and every one of us. Shalom, shalom. Until next time.